Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody, and welcome to Campfire Dogs and Fishing for Keepers. That's what we're doing this afternoon. May have some company, may not. I don't know right now. But yeah, we're keeping fish tonight for Thanksgiving. We're probably going to do a little bit of that this week as we get up to Thanksgiving. And we're going to do some dogs on the fire. But we're going to let that fire burn down just a little bit more. Come on, let's get some lines wet. First bait is a shad that I just caught before I came here. I'm gonna put that on a six octopus. 50 pound mono is the leader. Three ounces of lead. 40 pound is the main line. Most of you know that. Other rod, same rig. Everything's exactly the same. Using shad again, piece of the body. Make sure the scales are off the tip. Looking awesome. As you might be able to tell, it is really close to sunset. I, I'm almost ready to eat. I haven't eaten anything yet today. I gotta put these dogs on, but if we're gonna catch a fish, we're gonna catch a fish. I can put off eating to catch a fish. Oh, we are gonna catch a fish. Look at that. Nice. I hadn't had this out too long. I thought that shad would do wasn't a lot of shad where I went, but I was able to get a good size one. Oh, I wonder if this is even a keeper. I'm not keeping anything over 20 pounds today. Oh, feels feels decent right now. It's got a lot of power on me at the moment. A little bit. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he's he's kind of close, but still still <laughs> holding his head down. I wonder if it's just a big stingray. I don't think it is. Oh, saw something top over there. Oh, it's a cat. Yeah, you're right. Look at that. This is that body piece. The first rod that I cast, I didn't, it's the only rod that I showed that I cast. I think that's going to be just under 20, but we'll see here in a second. Nice. Yeah. This is the first keeper of the session at 16 point, wherever it's, yeah, 16.25. All right, this is gonna eat good at 16 pounds. Hopefully we get quite a few more. This is for a bunch of people, what we're keeping for. Finally getting to cook. I've got both lines out. Look at this, I got the bun length hot dogs. Let me use this knife that I just used for cup bait. I'm only gonna put a two hot dog thing on here. Just two of them right now. So that's what I need to fill my belly. If somebody shows up, a friend is maybe coming. We'll put more on when he shows up. There we go. Ooh, these are gonna cook nicely. I let that fire burn down a little bit so they wouldn't burn when I put them on. Usually this is what I do when I cook hot dogs. Just get a nice hot bed of coals and keep turning them. I'm trying to hurry it up so I can start eating and be over by the rods. We've got an issue. We're gonna burn our hot dogs because we gotta catch this fish. This is on that shad head. Ooh, shaking my rod tip and keeping steady tension on me. Doesn't feel big though. Just got a lot of fight in them. 
he might flip a switch here in a second though. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. This is a fun catch. It's got a lot of fight. It's already on the surface, but not too close to us yet. Oh yeah, it's on the Barney rod. Oh, oh, white water action out there. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I got a double. Dang it. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that is a bruiser. That's not a keeper right there. Shoot. Uh, let's see if we can land this fish real quick and get this other one in. Still got that, the other fish is on the other rod still. Oh. Shoot. Come on. Get up here. Look at it. Look at that action. Oh. Bruiser. Oh. Good thing I have a just a bed of coals over there I don't like black dogs it's not a Labrador reference either I just don't like burnt hot dogs but we'll eat it we'll eat it whatever oh oh my goodness come on now I had to loosen my drag Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a sack of potatoes right now. This fish, this fish has some power. Oh, it's on the top already. I'm just dragging them in. You know, this fish that I just put in the landing net, it didn't feel real big. It maybe at first, and then it lightened up and I thought, oh, it's not very big, but it's a lot bigger than it felt. I just keep looking down at it and I see the size of it. It's got a high back on them. What is this though? I think it's a catfish, but I feel like I'm bringing it in backwards. Oh, crazy. Maybe that's what's up. Maybe he's wrapped or hooked funny. Because it looks like I'm bringing him in backwards. And that's why he had so much power on me. Yeah, is this a foul hook or did he just get wrapped in my line? I don't know. But no, I'll tell you one thing, we're going to have to get this big boy out of the net. Here, let me get back at you. Thought I'd turn the camera on during this chaos. That fish got out of the net for me. I hope he... Oh, that fish is... There's blood all over the place. Dang it.
totally a foul hook in the lines wrapped around its tail that's why it had so much power they usually do when you foul hook them in the back this is the first fish off that double probably the biggest one the other one's probably not near as big as this 27.80 we're gonna get this fish back as soon as we can it came in with injuries i don't know if it got them while we were bringing it in or if it already had them but there's a little bit of the red stuff it's just too big for me to catch i want to get them back as soon as i can i've checked his gills those aren't what is bleeding so i think he has a chance uh, we'll have to wish him the best oh good he just took right off awesome i'm waiting for it to settle down there it goes second fish is 14.95 since this one is under 20 it's at a good range 14 pounds and it's not illegal to snag a catfish we're going to keep it even though some people may think it doesn't count because it was foul hooked but it's not illegal so we're going to keep this one for thanksgiving as luck would have it we don't have black dogs here we got nice well done good to go dogs here we go oh there we go hot dog relish easy peasy bring one thing instead of a bunch of different things this is the only thing i decided not to cast back out so i could get these hot dogs dressed with ease without anything to worry about no interruptions mm. Mm -hmm. Whew, that was the hairiest battery change i've ever done i was right in the middle of switching batteries and this fish hit right here and i just got frantic and i was like come on come on stuff wasn't working was dropping stuff but we did not lose the fish and it feels pretty decent at the moment I wonder if this is going to be a keeper or something I'm going to let go. I can't tell just by the pressure on the line if it's over 20. It feels like it might be under, but I've been fooled before. Oh, you're doing some whitewater beaver tail action out there. That's a flatty, and that is a keeper flatty for sure. The lady uh, I'm keeping these fish for is going to get a medley of catfish tonight. Well, I don't know when she's going to get them, but this is for Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> stuck in the net. Not a very big one, but that's going to be a decent eater. Wow. Can you believe that so far all four fish have been caught on the one shad? <laughs> just piece by piece two fish got caught on the same bait yeah let's get them on the ringer the stringer <laughs> the ringer that thing is led up in a really cool way tonight as if it's full almost every cabin has a light on in it there you go robin i'll be sending that your way here pretty soon all right that does it for me but don't fear i will be doing some more keeper sessions leading up to thanksgiving and probably afterwards yeah you're right guys thanks for watching and subscribing and i'll see you next time